Number 71. Figure 21.55 shows how a bleeder resistor is used to discharge a capacitor after an electronic device is shut off, allowing a person to work on electronics with less risk of shock. Letter A. What is the time constant? All right, so simple, right? Time constant will be equal to the resistance of that circuit multiplied, resistance inside of that circuit multiplied by the capacitance. So the resistance there they told us was 250 kilo ohms. You know we need that at ohms, so simply take the 250, multiply it by 10 to the third. We need now the capacitance is measured in farads, but here they gave it to us in microfarads, so simply take the 80, multiply it by 10 to the minus 6th, and voila. Here's our time constant. It will be measured now in seconds, or it will get spit out of that formula in seconds. All right, so 250 times 10 to the 3rd, multiplied by 80 times 10 to the minus 6th, 20. All right, 20.0, I guess, seconds. All right, that's the time constant. There you go. And uh, that takes care of now letter A. Let's move all this beautiful stuff on over to the uh, left-hand side. So that's letter A. Letter B. How long will it take to reduce the voltage on the capacitor to 0.25% uh, of its full value once the discharge begins? So you have to know there's two formulas over here that we have to now be considering. Right? The top formula here is going to be uh, to calculate, uh, talking about when the... <laughs> when the circuit is being charged, and then this bottom one is when the circuit is uh, being discharged. So this is an example of a discharge. So for example, uh, the voltage here at a particular point in time in the future, right after the circuit's kind of turned on, will equal the initial voltage multiplied by base E raised to the negative elapsed time divided by RC, or in other words, the resistance multiplied by the capacitance. But wait a minute, resistance times capacitance is simply the time constant, so are you saying, Andrew, that this is just tau? And yes, I am. Okay. I sometimes have to talk to myself. And uh, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to be able to calculate the, it's asking us how long. So the elapsed time, this is what we are after right now. Okay. So they don't tell us the final voltage and they don't tell us the initial, but they tell us how, what it's changing by in terms of a percent, right? If it changes by this percentage, uh, what that basically means is that the fractional change is then 0 0.250 divided by 100, right? Because you got to move this decimal two places to the left to get back to the fraction. I don't want the percent. I want the fraction. So this will be 0 0.00250. This is the fractional change. In other words, the final or the voltage at some point in time divided by the initial will be 0 0.00250. Okay, it'll be some small fraction of the original amount. So in other words, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna divide this side by VO and the left side then by VO. So I'll have VT over VO is equal to then E raised to the negative T over tau. Now, I already mentioned what this is, right? We just found it. That's just a fractional change, okay? So 0 0.002250, do not plug in the percent. You need it in terms of the decimal, right? Now here's the thing, I gotta solve this thing for tau, what do I gotta do? Well, tau is all, excuse me, I gotta solve this for time, elapsed time, so time is all tied up in this E function, right? Or this E, base E, it's not a function, it's just base E. So in order to get rid of base E, I have to take the natural logarithm of both sides, just like this. Now what happens here, this is a number, so take that and plug it into your calculator, if you like. So ln of 0.0025. And what do we get? We get a nice negative number, right? This comes out to be negative 5.99 or so. And what happens here is that the ln cancels the E, and this whole exponent basically comes down and becomes a line item now. A regular old, it's not an exponent anymore, it just looks like this, negative T over tau. Okay? Now tau we know to be, we solved it before, it's just 20. So just plug in 20 there. And look, how do you solve T? So simple, right? Just do a cross multiplication. Boom, done, right? So T is going to simply be equal to 0.59. I'm using the exact value. Obviously, it's 6, right? Uh, close to 6 times 20, but I just want to uh, check to see how close it is. And if I will round with three sig figs, yeah, I guess I will round to 120, okay? Then minus signs will cancel and all, so there you go, 120 seconds, all right? That's how long it will take. Uh, so about how many time constants is that actually? Well, if each time constant is 20, and then we go 20 to 40 to 60 to 80 to 100 to 120, well, 
Sounds like six time constants to me. Oh, wait, there's the six. Huh, interesting. So, letter C. If the capacitor is charged to a voltage of VO through a 100 uh, ohm resistance, calculate the time it takes to raise to 0 0.650 uh, uh, volts. All right. Oh, excuse me, 0 0.650 of its initial. Okay. So now it's talking about charging, so we can't use this formula anymore. Right. We've got to use the other formula for charging. Okay. So this is now letter uh, C, right? Okay. So here we here we go. So now it's going to be V uh, voltage at some point in time is equal to the EMF. Now the EMF is basically telling you the initial voltage, so you don't have to write EMF. You could write V sub O. Multiplied now by one minus E to the negative elapsed time over R C, right? And R C is just tau. But in this particular case, you got to be careful. The resistance has now changed, right? Because we're talking about it's charging this voltage through a 100 ohm resistance. So the resistance has now changed. So I would I would not, please do not plug, plug in this number. The resistance is not, you know, 250 kilo ohms anymore. So now what I need to do, all right, is uh, just take a, you know, they also tell us, calculate the time it takes to rise to this fractional amount of the initial voltage. In other words, what they're saying, in so many words, is that the voltage at some point in time will equal 0 0.865 of its initial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value and just substitute it on in for that V sub T. Okay? So, there we go. That's now equal to VO times 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. I'm not going to plug in everything here because it just gets too long in this you know, denominator. So notice the VOs will cancel. So now I'm left with 0 0.865, 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. I want to solve for T. Remember, it's talking about uh, calculate the time. Okay, calculate the time. So I now need to, I mean, it depends on how you want to do the algebra here. But uh, why don't we subtract the 1 on over to the left? All right, let's do that. So it's point, point 0.865 minus 1. And that should be negative 0 0.135. And that's now equal to negative e to the negative t over rc. Now, look, both sides are negative, so what can you do with the negative sign? Just get rid of it, right? We'll see you later. Now, the same process. Notice, I got to solve for my time constant up here, so I got to take the natural log of both sides, right? So ln of this thing, that's a real number. Let's move this over a little bit. ln of this thing. That cancels the E. What's going to happen now is we're going to get ln. I'm not going to plug it into the calculator right now. I'm just going to write it down. This is the number, though. You could plug in the number now if you wanted. Is equal to the negative T over RC. Okay? So now this is a nice, easy thing to calculate down there, right? Just plug in your R value. They told you it was 100 ohms, so plug in the 100. Plug in your capacitance. That doesn't change. It's still 80 times 10 to the minus 6th. Multiply that then multiply it by that and you'll find your time. And then you'll notice both sides are negative. So then you'll just cancel that. So ln of 0.135 times then 100 times 80 times 10 to the minus sixth. And here we go, make it positive. So this works out to be 0 0.016, right? 0.16. And that will be now, eh, I guess, zero in terms of seconds. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.